Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mildred and I am your Gaming Monk for the evening. This is day 11 of the RPG A Day 2019 challenge. Today's word is examine. What comes to mind when I think of this word are investigation and investigative games. Now, I could bring up the heavy hitter in this bunch, which is, of course, the gumshoe system through Esoterrorists and Trail of Cthulhu, both very good games in my opinion. But I want to bring out some other things. Some that are very clearly doing the noir thing, like Mean Streets, which uses a very good system in genre diversion. But since I backed it recently, I also want to talk about Lex Arcana. Lex Arcana is an Italian game. And apparently it's been a big deal in, the, in that scene for many years. I wouldn't know the details because obviously I don't speak Italian. The core idea of it, and the core idea of another Italian RPG I backed recently, is what if the Empire never fell? And then you throw in a bit of the fantastical elements. But the quick start that I ended up going through, which sadly we don't have that footage because of um, technical fuck-ups, or rather we do have the footage but it's all muted, is a very investigative-focused game where you are members of a society who is teamed to um, take a look at supernatural threats to the to the empire. And of course, beyond that, there's also the there's also the Dresden Files RPG, which, even though I have a mixed attitude about fate, that game I will give its props, and I will especially give the props that um, author Jim Bo Jim Blucher, sorry if I mispronounced your name was fairly hands-on with the development of that um, adaptation. Same with Brandon Sanderson when it comes to Mistborn, which I will hopefully get to in the future. But in addition to that, there's of course the more investigative aspects that can be done with Dark Heresy, even if that aspect isn't done as much, partially because of the confines of Warhammer and partially because... Those who are in the know all want to be fucking Eisenhorn. Don't get me wrong, I love the Eisenhorn books, but still. Of course, another one that's been brought to my attention recently that I actually see some promise in, even with its origins, is City of Mist. I've always liked the whole the, the magical meets the contemporary, and with that you have a very mythological base. Kind of like Scion, but without being full Scion. But this investigative style works very well for people who prefer a narrativist approach to their games. And moreover, it works very well with systems that are designed to be theater of the mind instead of being utilizing a grid. Which, to be quite honest, the games that actually utilize a grid and battle map aren't as common as people might think. Especially if they come from a and d style background. Although to that end... Trying to introduce investigative aspects into a game like D&D is something that I would not advise because it's going to come with a whole host of problems. You can certainly do it, but you're going to have your work cut out for you. But I would honestly say doing this sort of investigative style roleplay is significantly more demanding than doing the standard dungeon crawl. Mostly because, for one, you've got to have a set of NPCs that are on the ball, and two, you have to make sure that your players are, at least to an extent, as on the ball as everything else. And this is coming from somebody who has already live-streamed two campaigns where he was kind of doing that, even if the system wasn't expressly designed for investigative play. What with the Second City campaign I did for Legend of the Five Rings 4th Edition, and the who done it mystery that was at a central part of the enemy within campaign for Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 3rd edition. And I do hope to do this kind of thing in the future, especially given Zeitgeist along the way which is tailored built for this sort of investigative style play. The who done it is definitely the easiest approach to do it, but I do think that there are other possibilities when it comes to expanding on this style. Just Watch a lot of film noir. It's certainly going to help matters.